biggest development on the Midland Main Line since the Victorian era. A really special timetable change. Hundreds of millions of pounds worth of work invested. A step up in train services. Continued electrification. Faster, greener, quieter, more seats. A more inviting place for people to come. So this is the biggest upgrade programme that's been done on the Midland Main Line since the 1870s. Installation of 179 kilometres of new overhead line with a new system and also 23 kilometres of new track. Journeys for our customers are going to be greener because we're introducing new electric rolling stock. These are the new or the upgraded Class 360s. 77% less carbon emissions over the course of a year. That's going to lead to sort of a saving of circa 28,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide. Under this new timetable, with this new 360 fleet, we'll be able to go up to six trains an hour, uh, with the additional train being a doubling of uh, the number of services we run to Corby. We've used this opportunity to deliver more environmentally friendly practices, so we use less steel, less concrete in the construction of the OLE system. The piling that we used was um, shorter, we didn't have to dig as deep, and we're estimating that saved us about 20% of carbon. And obviously the OLE system itself provides environmental benefits in providing journeys with less emissions which are quieter and faster. I think this timetable change has been different because the, the level of collaboration between network work rail, train operating companies, stakeholders and the Department for Transport. That programme has been delivered in the last year which with the global pandemic and all of the challenges that we've had it's been a fantastic achievement by the team. Yes the project is over now but no that's not the end of our green agenda. We want this to be a start of a continuing programme of investment and upgrades on the Midland Main Line. This electrification programme is just sort of part one. Work is soon to be underway on further electrification up to Market Harbour. We are going to see the introduction of the bi-mode trains which is going to be brand new rolling stock for our intercity services. And we're also challenging ourselves in our maintenance departments as well as to how we can use the lessons that we learned from the programme to continue to make the railway a greener space. A new greener timetable in May 21. That's what we're doing to put our passengers first.